I'm telling the weather forecast. <laughs> My name is Jamali Rafiq and I am nine years old. I live in Carlo. I like Carlo because I go to a great school and I like the scenery and I like that I in the street that I have friends. I really like my house. I especially like cricket. I also like swimming a lot. I want to try tennis sometime because I think it might be like cricket, but the ball is jumping up and you're holding the bat. I really like art. I like to draw my country. I like to draw the boats coming coming across from the borders, and I like to draw the people and the houses because I like how people make their own houses and it's and it's hard to believe that someone actually made it. I like to draw that because that makes me happy. The colors just explode out of the page. I came to Ireland when I was eight months and we didn't really know much that much people. We only knew like hello and mostly hello and no and we know how to nod. We didn't really know how to speak English that much. Then we um, started to fit in here, and then now I really like living in Ireland. I especially like um, Burma because it's a special place for me, and even though I've never been there, but hopefully I want to go there when I get older. I really want to see some of my friends and families from Burma because I don't really know much about it, but I know it's history. so. I think I'll really be happy in Burma. I'm Burmese and they changed the name of Burma. Um, it was like Burma was lost in the map of the world. So I also like the name Myanmar, but not as much as Burma because it's also called a golden country. And I like how that's called golden country. Because to me it is a golden country. Here in Ireland, um, it's only like me and my dad and my mom and my sister and my uncle. I went to Bangladesh to see my grandparents and my aunties and my uncles. There's also a lot of animals in Bangladesh and there's a lot of palm trees and coconuts and I like how people make their own houses there. There's a difference between Ireland with their animals. In Bangladesh, you see uh, chicks, chickens and chicks every day. They come and go in everyone's gardens. And, but in Ireland, the chickens stay in the farm and they don't really come out. In Bangladesh, when I was there for like a bit longer, like a like few weeks, I didn't really um, I bother to get the chicks anymore. And when I came back here, I really wanted to get the chicks again. I've seen a difference between this country and the other country. Most people in Bangladesh can't afford to go to school and the schools don't really have that much books. And I really want to help them have to learn and have education so the people that are in countries that have schools are really lucky to be in school because in Bangladesh they can't really go to, some people can't afford to go to school. I'm proud that I have a, such a good family. Maybe that we work in a group mostly and we help each other. And I like our culture because it cooks good food and we're a very friendly culture. I really like Eid because um, we all get together and then we pray. And then we go out and then we have like a big feast. But before that um, is Ramadan. We wake up really early before the, it's morning and we eat something then we go back to sleep and then in the morning you fast. I like to go out and uh, go to the mosque because after that um, there's lots of fun things to do. So I really like Eid. Not really. I kind of feel like I'm one of everybody so not really, I don't feel like different, so I'm fine in Ireland. I fit in well and I have a good class and I have a good teacher, so I don't think I feel different. 
I do like school because everyone is different and they're from different countries all over the world and they get to share their cultures and everybody is not exactly the same but everybody is different in a good way and I like that. That's a hard one. Maybe I like to help my community and take after my dad and help people. Maybe go to different countries and then help the people there and maybe give them some information about their there's still hope and uh, do the best effort they can in their country. Maybe I would like to be an artist. Maybe I want to be a sculptor. Or I don't really know which one I want to choose, so I think it could be all of them. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't because we I have two uh, cultures, so it's hard to choose one over the other. So, And it makes me proud that I'm from two countries. It's really amazing here because you get to do a lot of sports like cricket and swimming and there's a lot of friendly people here. You get education here and so I'm really happy here because some of my friends are here as well. I'm happy in Ireland and I really like to see in Bur Bur everything in Burma. And hopefully I'll see the, all my friends and families there. So I speak my Bahanga, I speak I know a little bit of Spanish, and I know a little bit of Irish. I know how to write Chinese, but I don't know how to say it. I know how to understand Bengali, but I don't know how to say it. I dream to have my country free one day, and maybe to help them ha have a better life, maybe a better hope for them. I would like to see um, most people happy and not suffering and to have peace in the world and everyone is in their place.